right, so our objective for math today is going to be, I will be able to summarize what I have learned about prisms, not prison, <laughs> prisms. And I'll go over what a prism is in this lesson. So this is your math warm up for this morning. Uh, the whole is a group of six, okay? So what is one sixth of six? How many would that be? If the group is six, how much would one sixth be? And so I'm actually gonna do this one for you. Um, and then you could do the other ones. What is three sixths of six? That would be three out of six. If six is the whole, then that would be three out of six. What is five sixths of six? It would be five. So the next slide is very similar. The whole is a group of eight. What is two eighths of eight? What is zero eighths of eight? What is eight eighths of eight? Now this one's a little bit different. This time you are writing a fraction. The whole is a group of 12. What fraction of the whole is one? So it'd be one out of 12. And you would write that as a fraction. Same with the rest of them. What fraction of the whole is six? What fraction of the whole is 12? So all three of these answers should be fractions. Now take a look at these two squares. What do you notice? What do you wonder? Go ahead, pause here, and do the last four slides, including this one. Five, four, three, two, one. The gray square is two-dimensional, or 2D, meaning that it is flat and has only a width and a length. The orange square pattern block is three-dimensional, or 3D. It takes up space and has height as well as width and depth. The square pattern block is an example of a polyhedron. Everybody say polyhedron. From the Greek poly, meaning many, just like polygon, and hedra meaning face. A three-dimensional shape has flat faces shaped like polygons. And we're gonna go over that in, very shortly. So today you will continue. Go, go. Sorry, one second. Today you will continue to explore the faces and other defining attributes of prisms which are a category of polyhedrons. So all of these are polyhedrons. And we'll show you how to make a prism out of a polyhedron. All you do is you stack the pattern blocks to create a prism. So I've created a longer prism by stacking the pattern blocks. You could see more polygons by looking at the other faces these shapes make. So for instance, let's look at this uh, trapezoid, right? We know that this shape right here is a trapezoid, but look right here. That is a rectangle, right? So this prism not only creates a trapezoid, but also creates a rectangle on this side. From this angle, you could also see that this is either, it could be a parallelogram. It looks like a parallelogram from this angle. If it was straight on, it look, might look more like a rectangle. Same here, we have a hexagon shape. But when we're looking at this part of the hexagon shape, we're actually looking at a rectangle. Right? Same here, we've got either a rectangle or a parallelogram right there. Um, this one, since it's all squares, we have a square, a rectangle, a rectangle. Here with this triangle, we have a triangle. But then when you look at this side, that looks like another parallelogram, right? So that's why we're talking, that's why these are called polyhedrons is because it makes multiple polygons out of stacking the polygons together. So the triangular faces are called bases. 
Prisms are named for the shape of their bases. What do you think this prism is called? So the face right here, uh, and you can see in this uh, moving uh, GIF, the faces look like rectangles or parallelograms. The bases are what is in red. So the shape of this prism is going to be named after the bases that are the red part. So what do you think this is called? And I want you to take a guess because you don't know yet. Um, and so take a guess of what you think that this prism would be called. The bases of the prisms are opposite each other and parallel. They are the same size and sh same shape. And you can see that here. These are the same shape, same size. You can see that here too. Same shape, same size. Um, and so go ahead and take your guess. Uh, pause the video, take your guess, and then come back in five, four, three, two, one. Moving on. So what it was called is actually called a triangular prism. Okay. So obviously because the base is a triangle. All right. So the whole thing is called a triangular prism. Now I want you to take guesses on what this is called. This is called and what this is called. So the base of this is actually a square or rectangle. The base here is a trapezoid and the base here is a hexagon. So go ahead and take your guesses down in these boxes. So we have a triangular prism, a rectangular prism, a trapezoidal prism, and a hexagonal prism. What is the same about all of these shapes? And go ahead and put your answer right here. What do you notice about the shapes of the bases for all of these prisms? Now remember the base is the shape that it takes at the top and they're opposite, they're the same on both sides. So here we have rectangle, trapezoid, hexagonal. What do you notice about the shapes of the bases for all of these prisms? So any pair of opposite sides can be the bases of a rectangular prism. Now this is only for a rectangular prism. The square faces could be the bases or the non-square rectangular sides could be bases. Once you decide which pair are the bases, the other faces are not considered bases. So for instance, as we're looking at this moving one, the red could be the bases or you can choose if you were, if because to me this looks like a Jenga block. If you have a Jenga block, you could say, okay, the top two squares are the bases. Or let's say you put your fingers on the sides. Those two that are on either side can be bases as well. So maybe this, it's kind of hard to do. Or do you know what? It would be for this one that's staying still, it would be like this could be a base. And then it has to be the opposite side over here is a base that we cannot see. It would not be this side. It wouldn't be two sides that are right next to each other. They have to be opposite each other. I hope that that makes sense. A cube is a special type of rectangular prism with six same side square faces. So a cube is extra special because all of the sides are the same size, no matter what. Now, what do you notice about the edges? Here are the edges. Here's one edge, here's another. All of the edges are all around here. And tell me, what do you notice? There's no wrong answer. I just wanna know what you notice. What do you notice about the vertices? Here are all the, and then remember the vertices are the points at which two lines meet, okay? What do you notice about the bases? For this one, it says that these two are the bases. What, what do you notice about them? Look around your home. What rectangular prisms can you find? So anything, and remember I'm talking about a rectangular prism. I am not talking about a triangular prism or anything like that. And now I'm gonna look around and see, ooh, right here. This is a tissue box and it is a rectangular prism, right? 
especially when you don't really see the tissue popping out of it. It is a three-dimensional rectangle, right? I could choose that the two bases be these two right here, or I could choose that the bases be these two right here, or the bases could be these two right here, as long as they are opposite each other, okay? But we've got two square faces that are the same size, and these faces all around, um, when they're opposite each other, are also the same size. Um, so this is a good example of a rectangular prism. And you tell me, what are some that you found in your home? And then lastly, um, this is your only assignment for today. You're not really doing a lot of adding, subtracting, multiplication, or divisions. This is just about prisms. And it will be on your test, which is tomorrow. Um, and I want you to tell me, what have you learned about prisms now? What, what was your takeaway? Um, one, one thing that you are most excited that you learned about prisms um, throughout this lesson. All right, that is it for math. I will see you for English language arts.